all right? But the Most High is going to destroy this place, right? As he said, right? The eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. And he's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. All right? Now let's go into Isaiah 13 and 11. Matter of fact, Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord coming. Who goes with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it for the stars of heaven and the consolation thereof shall not give their light the sun shall be darkened and his going forth and the moon shall not cause her light to shine and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity and I will cause the arrogance of the proud to cease all right now in Job 9 and 24 said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked and that's the Edomites it's when the most I think going to punish the world it's these Edomites along with these heathens and two-thirds of our people read that again and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity and I will cease the arrogance of the proud and I will cause to lock you, and I will cause the arrogance of the proud to cease alright who are the proud those are the Edomites those are the Edomites they have a song saying I'm proud to be an American alright the Edomites they're, they're the proud the Bible speaks of and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible I will make a man more precious than fine gold even even a man than a golden wedge of Oprah. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth will remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. All right? So the Moesai is that angry, man. Understand? The earth is going to be rocking to and forth. Understand when these are uh, thermonuclear missiles start to hit, all right? And it shall be chased row, and as a sheep that no man taketh up, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee one into his land. Understand? When this when this really starts to go down, when this economy really start to crash, everybody's going to flee to their own people, but they ain't going to trust nobody else. Every man that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So if you are joined unto these heathens I'm talking to you, Israelites, Negroes, and Indian descent, if you're fine to any other nation but your own, you're going to be thrust through with the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravish me rape. Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash young men to pieces, and they, and they shall have no pity in the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. All right, not dealing with the third world war that's coming, man. The civil unrest and the martial law and the race wars. Understand? The most that they're going to be sedition among men. All right? And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency shall be as when the most high overthrows Sodom and Gomorrah. That is America. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah was reduced to ashes, so America is going to be reduced to ashes. And it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall, in, shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherd make their folds there. Understand, it's going to be a perpetual desolation, okay, a perpetual wilderness. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their house shall be full of gospel creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and tires 
shall pass them, and the wild bees of the island shall cry in their des desolate houses, the dragons in their pleasant places, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not prolong. Understand? The time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged, and shall be destroyed, thus saith the Lord God, alright? 